And now concerned that a white supremacist may be speaking at the University of Florida next month. You have President Kim Fox says his presence would be, quote, deeply disturbing, but adds that the university encourages open dialogue. First Coast News Clark Foraker is digging more deeply into this controversy, and he joins us live now. Clark? Jeannie, and based on what could happen, the UF community now has gotten all of the law enforcement agencies, not only here in Gainesville, like the Gainesville Police Department, but all the way up to the FBI and beginning to prepare a plan. The UF community is not tonight saying where this event could be held or how many people they might expect to attend. But one thing is for sure, they'd rather not be dealing with this the week before school starts. We're concerned about what might happen here at the University of Florida, and we're having to grapple with a lot of the same things that um, our community is grappling with, free speech versus um, our safe community. UF spokeswoman Janine Sykes says an event to bring alt-right leader Richard Spencer to Gainesville is still tentative. Spencer's group, the National Policy Institute, reached out to UF a week ago to rent space for a speech. We do not condone, we do not like uh, Mr. Spencer's uh, rhetoric. But according to an email sent by University President Kent Fox over the weekend, UF may still have to rent the space. They're working with FDLE and the FBI on security plans. White plans and black plans, um, I just get the feeling that they're discouraged that in 2017 that these things can still happen. Student Marsha Joseph's on campus a week before classes start. If the event happens, more than 4,000 students have begun organizing a counter protest on Facebook. We obviously do not in any way believe in any of their views. And I think our team understands that. UF's head football coach, like many on campus, received the condemning email from the university president. Just like the community, we're concerned about um, safety. Sykes says conversations are ongoing, but believes a decision will be reached by week's end. UF may have to rent the space because of a state law that basically prohibits the university from prohibiting certain groups. They've reached out to other universities where Spencer is requested to speak, one of them being Auburn University in Alabama. Auburn tried to prohibit Spencer from coming to campus, but ended up holding the event after a court told them they had to. Live in Gainesville, I'm Clark Foraker, First Coast News.